Hi, back out here at the Arcadia Homestead, here to tell you about one of the amazing plants that Florida has to offer that would have been really useful to early people way back before pharmacies and grocery stores were there and easy to get everything you need. Um, one of these products that would have been very, very important to the early settler, Native Americans, people who were really living off the land, is Spanish moss, and it's also called Old Man's Beard. It is a type of moss that um, is technically a epiphyte, meaning it does not need to have roots in the ground to grow. It can grow essentially like an air plant. And Spanish moss was useful mostly as a great filler material for upholstery, mattresses, cushions, pillows. In fact, it was the first stuffing material used in the early automotive industry. And often in antique furniture, you can still find really great quality Spanish moss that is nice and soft still. Um, the way it was processed was you would cure it. And the curing process would, would remove the outer bark as it's called, which is what makes the Spanish moss look gray. So underneath this, after it fell off, is a thin black filament. It looks a lot like hair, specifically horse hair. And often people mistake it as that. And the early colonists and Native Americans knew how to cure it, and they would have cured it seasonally. And some people actually would supplement their money that way. They'd seasonally harvest this and sell it for an additional income per year. And it, once you have that, that soft black filament, it's really spongy. And if you come out to Arcadia, you can see Spanish moss everywhere, in the, gra in the, in the trees, on the ground, you name it, it's all over the place. So come on out, we're open Fridays and Saturdays and you can see it for yourself. Thank you.